Hello KLS crew and welcome back to another Fortnite Battle Royale video. In this video we will be looking at the week 9 challenges for season 8. Before we start, please note that obviously my voice is a robotic voice that was sampled from a text to speech software, so there may be mispronunciations or spelling errors. Please try to ignore them. You can now put challenges as your party assists so if you struggle with one, you can complete it with other players in your lobby. Let's start by looking at an overview of the challenges before we go into the details. There are three challenges you can do if you don't have the paid battle pass. The first challenge of the three unpaid battle pass challenges is a stage challenge and the first stage is, land at loot lake and is worth 1 battle star or 100 xp if you are at tier 100. The second stage for the first challenge is, Land at Lucky Landing and is worth 1 Battle Star or 100 XP if you are at Tier 100. The third stage for the first challenge is, Land at Salty Springs and is worth 1 Battle Star or 100 XP if you are at Tier 100. The fourth stage for the first challenge is, Land at Lonely Lodge and is worth 1 Battle Star or 100 XP if you are at Tier 100. The final stage for the first challenge is, Land at Haunted Hills and is worth a final 1 battle star or 100 XP if you are at tier 100. The second challenge is, search 7 chests at Polar Peak or Lonely Lodge and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you are at tier 100. The third challenge is, ride 3 different volcano vents without landing and is worth 10 battle stars or 1000 XP if you are at tier 100. The next four challenges can only be done by players who have bought the paid battle pass. The fourth challenge is a stage challenge and the first stage is, dance between the ice sculptured and is worth 1 battle star or 100 xp if you are at tier 100. The Senkan stage for the fourth challenge is, dance between 3 dinosaurs and is worth 2 battle stars or 200 xp if you are at tier 100. The final stage for the fourth challenge is, Dance between 4 hot springs and is worth another 2 battle stars or 200 xp if you are at tier 100. The fifth challenge is, deal 500 damage to opponents from below and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 xp if you are at tier 100. The sixth challenge is, revive a teammate at a reboot van and is worth 10 battle stars or 1000 xp if you are at tier 100. The seventh and final challenge is, Eliminate opponent in 5 different matches and is with 10 battle stars or 1000 XP if you are at tier 100. And if you complete all that, and every other previous weeks, you can unlock a secret battle star or secret banner. This week it's a secret battle star and the location of the battle star will be revealed in the details. Now let's go into the details of the challenges for this week. The first challenge is a stage challenge and the first stage is, Land at Loot Lake and if you land there you can get 1 battle star or 100 XP. The second stage for the first challenge is, Land at Lucky Landing and if you land there you can get 1 battle star or 100 XP. The third stage for the first challenge is, Land at Salty Springs and if you land there you can get 1 battle star or 100 XP. The fourth stage for the first challenge is, Land at Lonely Lodge and if you land there you can get 1 battle star or 100 XP. The final stage for the first challenge is, land at Haunted Hills and if you land there you can get a final battle star or 100 XP giving you a total of 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you complete all the stages of the first challenge. This is quite an easy challenge as all you really need to do is jump out the battle bus as it passes over or is close to the location that you are needing to land at and make sure you land somewhere in that said location. The second challenge is, search 7 chests at Polar Peak or Lonely Lodge and if you search 7 chests you can get 5 battle stars or 500 XP. They are both similar sized so there is quite a similar amount of chests however Polar Peak might have a few more chests as there are more buildings for them to be put in Lonely Lodge is most likely to be quite quiet so if you do keep dying in Polar Peak, Lonely Lodge can still get this challenge complete quite easy. The third challenge is, 
ride three different volcano vents without landing and if you ride three of the volcano vents without landing you can get 10 battle stars or 1000 XP. The best location to go for this challenge is near the volcano these three volcano vents to go to are probably the closest ones in the map however the others by the volcano are not that far away anyways. The fourth challenge is another stage challenge and the first stage is, dance between three ice sculptures and if you dance between them all you can get one battle stars or 100 xp. The location of the three ice sculptures is just southwest of polar peak and all you have to do is stand in between them all and do any emote. The second stage for the fourth challenge is, dance between three dinosaurs and if you dance between them all you can get two battle stars or 200 xp. The location of all three dinosaurs is south of Paradise Palms and once again just stand in between them and do any emote. The final stage for the fourth challenge is, dance between four hot springs and if you dance between them all you can get a final two battle stars or 200 XP which gives you a total of five battle stars or 500 XP if you complete all the stages of the fourth challenge. And the location for that is northwest of the volcano and there are also some volcano vents there so if you haven't done that challenge, this would be a very good place to. The fifth challenge is, deal 500 damage to opponents from below and if you deal 500 damage you can get 5 battle stars or 500 XP. This means that you have to deal damage to players that are above you. A good idea is to go into team rumble and just stay below players and if you mess up, you have lots of chances to complete this challenge. The sixth challenge is, revive a team mate at a reboot van and if you manage to get the revive you can get 10 battle stars or 1000 XP. You do have to have a team mate to complete this challenge so you could either get a friend to join you and you could do duos or squads or you could do duos or squads fill and when your random team mates die, just pick up their reboot card and find the nearest reboot van. The final challenge for week 9 is, eliminate an opponent in 5 different matches and if you eliminate the opponents in 5 different matches you can get 10 battle stars or 1000 XP. This challenge is very easy. All you really have to do is just play the game normally as you will get a kill in one of your games. And if you complete all that, there is a secret battle star to unlock this week. The location of said battle star is somewhere near the front on the ship on the Viking Mountain. And that is all the challenges for week 9. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy or this guide helped you with your weekly challenge, be sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Also feel free to leave a comment and we will read all of them. Also, we are desperate to do other videos like compilations so if you want your Fortnite clips in one of our videos then check the description on how to do it. Turn notifications on as we upload these videos every week. Once again, thanks for watching. Bye.